Miss Dora can I bring to you the sugar button moulds made in conjunction with Katie Sue Designs. The moulds are made of full grade silicon so they are used widely in the cake decorating market and also the crafting market as well. We are going to use air dry clay, you could use polymer clay, you can use soap, you can use candle wax and many many other mediums to, to make um, embellishments and projects and home decor, card making, lots of different ways of working with these moulds. So we're going to go with the enchanted window and before I start I'm just going to use a little bit of corn flour and dust out the mould. These have been washed out in soapy water so in case there's any moisture just left in the mould if you dust this out then it will make sure that any moisture is just taken care of so that the clay doesn't stick to it. So once you've done that a little tap out to make sure there's no excess powder in there and then we can start to build up the design. So you can see we've got some stonework at the top here, so I'm going to start there and then build up the rest of the, the window itself. We've got some lovely shutters there that have wood grain effect on them, so when you see this be released from the mould you'll see how detailed these moulds actually, actually are. So I'm just going to use the, the grey colour for the stone and just feed that into the area at the top. It's very clear to see where the stonework starts and finishes. So I'm just filling to the top of the line of the mould and pushing down with fingertips for now. I'm then going to use this lovely magenta. There is a hearty magenta block of clay that can be used directly from the pack or in this instance I have actually added a little bit of white into it. It's a very bright, strong colour, beautiful colour. So I've lightened it down slightly but we've still got some really nice depth of colour there. So for the window itself We've got these areas here, the window panes. They will stand proud. You don't need to cover those over. They can be left exposed, as you'll see as I go through the demonstration here. So I'm just really shaping the clay a little bit to the size and shape of the window, a little bit nearer to, to what it would be if I just went with a ball of clay. It's quite a shallow mould, so you don't need too much clay here. So I'm pushing with fingertips and I know I, even though I've not got a lot of clay, I've got excess. I have got too much so we can deal with that as we just work through. It doesn't matter if the magenta colour overlaps the stonework now because this is the back that you're looking at. The front will look perfect when it comes out. So I'm just pushing that down nicely and then we'll expose those window panes. So just using a, a finger or a thumb is probably the best way to do it. Once you start to reveal those little areas, you'll find that you've probably got some clay that you can start to remove. So just, just work it away as you go through. And likewise, if you haven't got enough, you can top it up. There's also a couple of little hinges. They will start to show as well. So there's one there with another one just starting to appear. So just keep pushing down with fingertips. You don't really need to use any other tools for this one. And there we are, that's number three. Because this is an enchanted window, it's not very symmetrical. I wanted it, to, I designed this to look as it was a little bit rickety. Maybe it's from a, a cottage in the woods or a fairy house or, you know, some sort of enchanted castle or something like that. So you can see there, I've got two more little hinges exposed and we've got the window panes showing as well. And that's really all you need to do. You could, if you want at this stage, just go over the top with a rolling pin just to make sure everything's really compacted down because you want to pick up all that wood grain. And then once you've done that, you'll see if there's any excess clay that wants to be trimmed away. And finally, you can neaten up by working with a fingertip just around the edge, just pulling in as you go all the way around, giving a nice clean finish. Remember to work those areas around the window panes again as well, just to make sure they're nice and tidy. And then we're ready to release the, the window from the mould. The silicone moulds are very, very flexible. You can see just by bending there how that's starting to come away. I would just make one suggestion though, if your clay is very, very wet and you find it's bending with the mould, just take it out of the mould and leave it to sit in the fresh air for maybe five minutes at a time just to make sure that it dries off a little bit before you put it into the mould because if it is very wet it may be a little bit too flexible but there we are, that's released nicely I'm just going to put that onto the back of the mould so you can see it a little bit more clearly and you can see all the detail of the wood grain there coming out 
but there's other things we can do to the window to decorate it further. So one little trick that I like to do is to open the shutters slightly. So just by bending them up on the hinge you can have them as shutters that are partially open. If they look as though they're going to collapse a little bit use a ball of um, clay but don't press them together because you don't want them to stick or something like kitchen foil would work perfectly just as a support to keep the windows in place or the shutters in place as you work with it. Once it's started to dry maybe give it a good 15-20 minutes and they're probably going to be dry enough to remove the supports and they will stay as they are. But also within that mould, if I just move that to one side, oops, we've got some leaves and we've got some flowers as well. So why not make one or two little ivy leaves to put around the window. So I've got some green hearty clay here and once again you don't need any tools for this. It's just a case of pushing the clay into the mould. Make sure you've got a nice clean outline and then take those out. You can bring them to life by painting with a little bit of ink over the top or brushing some ink over them just to accentuate the detail or I like to use artist chalks or even the, the edible chalks and uh, powders that the cake decorators use will work very very well with the clay. So good idea actually to make one or two leaves in advance. You could have a box of these ready to go because there's all sorts of projects that you could use these on. So I'm just going to do one or two and then we can we can put them around the window and we'll use one or two flowers as well. And then I'll bring in something that I made earlier just to show you how you can start to build up a nice scene or you know a home decor project, a canvas, a plaque, cards, so many different ways that you can work with these and create your own toppers and embellishments. So there we are. Very, very simple. Let's just do one or two flowers, so we'll go with a little bit of yellow clay. You can put the centres of the flowers in as one colour, or you could do them all one colour and then paint the middles, or maybe put a gem or something in. With the clay sticking to your finger, just use a tool just to give it a helping hand. I'll just do three little flowers. So if you go with the centres first, and then go with the other colour on top. So I'll just use some white straight over the top and just push that into position. I'll do all three and then release them from the mould. I think the window would look great with, with one of the little fairy faces peeking out of it. So look at the other moulds that you have, the sugar button moulds, the Katie Sue moulds, there are so many different varieties of moulds that are manufactured by Katie Sue that will work in conjunction with each other. So, you know, it's, it's only your imagination that uh, holds bounds for you. So, there we are. Just a little bit of white clay over the top of the yellow centres and they're ready just to pop out as well. So, I've got three different sizes and we can use those to decorate up. So very simple, if it's the air dry clay, as long as there's still some moisture in there, then the clay will stick to itself. So I would just maybe make one or two more leaves. Let's just go with a bigger one at the back there. And start to build these up and around the window. So take some time to make a few and you can really weave them around. And maybe one or two little flowers will add some decoration. So that's starting to look very much like an enchanted window and that teams perfectly with the enchanted door which is another sugar buttons mould which I have here which I've used with some of the toastals that comes with the, the snail and again use the flowers to decorate and you could put leaves all around the door but they just go perfectly together as a pair and really there's so many different projects and different seasons and occasions that these will work perfectly for. Thank you for watching and I hope you will join me again on some of the other sugar button tutorials.